talk us how you ride an op upright. Um, I think the, the rhythm is bouncing a distance, uh, whether it's a vertical or an oxa, it's, uh, it's all about the rhythm and the canter that you have. So um, it's important to try and not adjust the horse within the last three strides. Um, many of us riders that spend more time on horses than we do on our feet probably can see a stride from uh, a lot further back, maybe seven, eight, nine strides. But that just comes from experience. Um, with an oxa, uh, it's important that you have enough canter and momentum to generate a uh, good push off the floor and probably not be too far away from the oxa so they can stretch for these very wide fences we saw today. Um, and you have to go with the horse, you allow the horse's head a little bit of freedom so that they can use their body. Uh, whereas a vertical, um, always have a closing distance towards the end so that you keep a good body position very upright so the horse can jump up towards you and uh, for Diva anyway it's important that she's not too deep, she, she struggles with her body when I, I come too close to a vertical.